biking in the woods of Maine with Patrick Dempsey is something most Grey's Anatomy fans can only picture in their wildest McDreams. But if you live in his hometown or if you're a lucky Nightline correspondent, not me, I might add, you may get to do just that. Here's ABC's Neil Karlinski. We're about as far from Hollywood as you can get in Patrick Dempsey's tiny hometown of Lewiston, Maine. And you'd never guess the actor best known as McDreamy from Grey's Anatomy. I'm in love with you. Hasn't been on the hit show for a year. Can you take a picture? Yeah, sure, real quick. And then you can turn around and be on Nightline. Say hello to Nightline. Hi. <laughs> it makes walking around with a 50-year-old trying to find out what his next act might be surprisingly challenging. Somebody wants to say hello. She's looking at you here. Hello. Don't you know what you won't interrupt. It's okay. I remember you juggling in the front yard. Yeah. And for me, I was younger. It was great. And we it's were just all been younger great to back see. Then. It was great to see your success in life. Oh, thank you very much. I've been very proud of you. It turns out juggling is what helped the pre-McDreamy version of Dempsey make it out of this old mill town of just 36,000 people. That, after his first dream fell through, he'd hoped to become an Olympic downhill skier. So I left Maine when I was about 17, and uh, I uh, was going to run away with a circus. I auditioned for this play. It was quite popular at the time, called Torch Song Trilogy. You were actually going to run away with the Yeah, I was going to run away with the circus, but I was a bit too young. They wouldn't let me in. It was Ringling Brothers. We spent three days with Dempsey back home, watching him decompress. Hi, everybody. Learning about his Dempsey You're Center to help people right battling cancer, a cause that is very personal to him. He lost his mother, Amanda, seen here in this footage from 10 years ago. That's where Patrick lives when he comes in the summer. To ovarian cancer in 2014. Your mother, I know, fought for a long time yes. before she lost her own battle with cancer. It seemed like it came back every two years. It was slow growing. Uh, we had her a lot longer than the doctors uh, sort of uh, predicted. I spent the weekend with him riding race bikes, a passion we both share as part of his huge Dempsey Challenge fundraiser. We're going to make a right hand turn up here, and this is the first time. Can't let you be incognito under the shades. Dempsey comes here after a whirlwind year. Look, he can ride no hands, too. It's cold. <laughs> the dramatic and sudden end of his 10-year run on Grey's Anatomy sparked questions about why his character was killed off. <laughs> A split with his wife of 17 years and talk of divorce. <laughs> They're back together now. Stop it. Plus a new movie, Bridget Jones' Baby, and enough tabloid headlines to get under anyone's skin. Grey's Anatomy was a remarkable ride. And without that success, I probably wouldn't be here today talking to you. Are you happy with the way it ended? Well, you know, I think everybody was sort of surprised at how abrupt it was. Was Shonda Rhimes done with you? I think it was, it was time for us both to be finished, you know? It was, That's diplomatic. Well, I, you know, it was, it was, it's hard to keep the creative energy going for 10 years. There was a lot written that you'd become a, a diva on set. Uh, right, I can understand why people would say that. I mean, you're, it, it's interesting, I think you can never really judge an actor on set because depending on the dynamic of the scene, you are asked to plug into an emotion. And then there's this surprising fact about the controversial end of his character. I haven't seen the final episode. You haven't seen the final Never episode? Never saw the final episode. I was going to say, was that cringeworthy? You haven't even seen it, really. Didn't see it, no. Didn't watch it. Do you want me to tell you what happens? I think it doesn't end well. <laughs> <laughs> One door closes, another door opens, my old man used to say. This is Jack, and... The next door was Bridget Jones' baby, alongside Renee Zellweger and Colin Firth. It's all new to you, isn't it? Lamb chop. Playing the familiar role of that irresistible guy. <laughs> I knew I had to do something because everybody was like, well, he's done, you know, your career is finished, he's retiring, he's not acting anymore. And that wasn't all the case. I love acting. He says things are good at home again with his wife and three kids. How are you doing with your wife? We're great, we're really good. It's a lot of work. You know, you can't get tardy and not work on it. And it's good to go in and say, okay, what's my issue here? What's yours? And how do we work on that? Is it true you're looking to have another baby? <laughs> See, this is the funny thing, right? You know, this is the funny thing about when you get into these magazines and they, they put these quotes out and then it gets picked up online and then all of a sudden you're, you're having another baby. <laughs> so what you're saying is you're having two more. <laughs> We're having triplets. I just want to announce that tonight. For the record, no more babies. But it took coffee and pastries at his favorite local spot. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Thanks for putting up with us. To find out his first nickname. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. And a clue that all this admiration 
A steady stream of women we never saw ease up didn't always come so easy. What'd they call you growing up around here? Nothing I really want to repeat. Come on. But I had nicknames. Like? Nothing that began I with me. I was really a small guy growing up, and so I was the amoeba. Wow, the amoeba. Yeah, it's not your normal nickname. I was a late bloomer. I was too. Yeah. After pastries comes bikes and the 8th annual Dempsey Challenge, a huge weekend bike ride and fundraiser for his Dempsey Center. Are you blown away the way this has grown? Absolutely, without question. It's just remarkable, the turnout. But it also speaks to how profound this disease is and how it affects everybody. Look at this. The route is filled with supporters on and off the bike. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. Less interested in Hollywood than a local boy done good who put his hometown on the map by helping care for those affected by cancer. Thanks for representing us, Maine boys. <laughs> My pleasure. Proud of you. Thank you. The fact that he has fun doing it doesn't hurt either. This is mile 200 in the Dempsey Challenge. It's OK. I'm OK. I can make it. He finished his ride to great cheers, more than a million dollars raised. As for his career, that ride has taken a new path, and Dempsey says he's ready. So you've got that rom-com thing down, and do you ever just want to shave your head and say, I want to play a serial killer now? Oh, absolutely, of course you do. But I'm just trying to be careful in what I do next. Where do you stand on McDreamy? Are you tired of being called McDreamy? I don't think I can ever be tired of that. I mean, it's going to be there for the rest of my life, so I have to accept that as a fact. Um, the question will be, will I be known for anything other than that later in life? And that's the question. For Nightline, I'm Neil Karlinski in Lewiston, Maine.